if you want amazing sativa lemon z lemon z and you too before you demonetize this this is legal here canada thc weed you know you have no problem putting a freaking viagra commercial but you won't put weed commercial give me a fucking break having a boner at 85 is not normal all right that's not advertiser friendly Congrats, Jamaican goddess. <laughs> you know. You know. Oh, and if you don't know, you want to know. Yeah! My armpits are hella hairy. Woo! Gotta shave those babies. <laughs> yeah! Where's everybody? What the fuck? I'm not gonna beat them. <laughs> Chantel Pete's life got really weird. Oh, about the police or? Who signed up for therapy? He's got his own opinion. He's a very he's got strong opinions about certain things. George Bayon, ready, set, read, beast. Is Pete still alive? He's gonna be mad that I'm live. I weigh three thirty two. I'm fat again. Oh well, I like being fat. I ordered food. No, tree lady's not right now. Tree lady is gonna be. We're doing the arms when I have bare arms. You've been watching for years. Well, you must have had several names. Clickbait? Nope, it's not, because I'll explain to you in just a minute. <laughs> so, as you all know, my mom and aunt are good. So, this, there's nothing like set in stone, but it's been talked about a few times already. And so, my aunt knows somebody. I didn't hear what he was saying. He's got his own opinions. I respect everybody's opinions. Um, as long as you can say them nicely, I guess, or they're not hurting. I don't know. Anyway, so, okay. Let me light this up. So my aunt, you know, is from Jamaica and she came down here. She's here now. She wants to go back. And she knows somebody who, and she knows I've been talking about this Jamaica thing for like ever. So she knows, um, a woman, um, an American woman actually from Georgia, who owns, she knows somebody who owns this like really big house. This house is like a mansion, I swear. It looks like one to me. It's got a huge yard. It's got a pomegranate tree, mango tree, sour soap tree, tree um, breadfruit tree. And you literally go in your backyard, pick up the fruit and eat it. Um, it's got, I think three bedrooms. Or maybe two, I don't know. Um, and this person is going away from like May until for like a few months. So she wants somebody to take over her home and she's gonna charge like 700 Canadian for like everything to live there. And my aunt would split with that with me. So like a huge house in Jamaica for three months. Now, um, I wanna go in March for my birthday with her to uh, see if I like it, to see what's going on. Um, what about Natter? We're not in a relationship, so. Yes, get your groove back. No, I'm not thinking about that. I'm not thinking about the D. I'm thinking about the C. The vitamin C! And just... Is this a scam? No, orange chicken. This is like my aunt's, like, friend. So... No, for real, we were talking about that. So I'm basically like trying to make a decision here. Do I do it or do I not do it? Like the thing is, is like, if this is something I need to do, my aunt is going to rely on me. So she's going to count on me making this firm decision and you know, I am with decisions. And this is a huge decision. I'm not, honestly not even thinking of the bed, honestly. I did, I honestly did, wow. No, I didn't, I honestly didn't. Um. I'm not doing it to make anyone jealous. I saw my aunt today and this is what we talked about. That's where I was all day. For fupa spray and hair fibers. Thank you, Sam Smelly Neckbeard. I do need more fupa spray. Oh, I'm almost out of my peach. So I'm not gonna live there. I'm not gonna live in Jamaica. Um, But if I split on a, like we're, we're gonna go there in May was the plan for a few months to find a place of our own so that she could live there permanently. Are you allowed to say you want to get laid in Jamaica? I'm not thinking about that. I'm not. I'm thinking about. I'm gonna be with my aunt for crying out loud. I'm not thinking about getting lead. 
I'm thinking about honestly taking a break from men, actually. <laughs> and just doing me, honestly, I swear. Um, I'm not really looking for thirsty men right now anyway, honestly. Like, I'm just not. I'm not looking to be like, sorry, I'm not looking to be thirsted after. Or like sought after or like annoyed or I don't know. I just want to like, oh man, you should have seen the house and fruit trees and think of the vlogs I could do. Think of the vlogs I could do. Foodie beauty in Jamaica. What do you think? Rasta Pizan. No, wait. What, what can we call it? I'm not gonna, the first time I go, big love, it's gonna be like, I'll make sure the cats are well taken care of. Um, pizza has offered to do it. Jamaica. Pastafari. Darth Cater Pastafari. <laughs> Goldilocks, buy a coconut and stay here. <laughs> no, it's not the same. It doesn't come right off the tree. I need to buy it from the man on the corner. Will BBJ be in the home? BBJ will be well taken care of. Hmm. Are you going to adopt a Jamaican accent like Tom Hanks' son? Why is the man on the cafeteria? Oh, I didn't see it. Purple drink on ice. Sounds like a good deal. So exciting. You way too whiny. Why can't you bring the cats? To Jamaica? Oh, I'm not going to be moving. Okay. So if we split on a house, it's, I'm only going to go there for like a month or like at a time or a couple weeks at a time, or it's not going to be like constant five months at a time because of my cats. So if I go, I'm going to make sure it's like a good amount of time. They'll miss me, but they're going to be taken care of by either BBP. Somebody will take care of them. Um, takes on America. Oh, I want to go somewhere else. How about we call it? Bees overseas. <laughs> Bees overseas. <laughs> Bees overseas. BB loves the cats, KB. He loved the cats. I can't take the cats to Jamaica. Do you want them to be traumatized for life and more than they already are? Hi, hair. <laughs> Why am I hiding my hairline? I am who I am, and that's all that I am. <laughs> Now, let's talk straight. Take them to Jamaica. <laughs> no, I think they'd be more traumatized in Jamaica. On a plane? Just traveling is so stressful for cats. They write Dan and Danny. <sighs> Take them to the beach on leeches. Oh, really, KB? Maybe your cat's more tolerant, though. My aunt likes cats, she's just allergic. You will get sick of the herb there, heads up. Really, Kyle? How come? Is it just like not as strong or it's not it's like more? I'm planning on drinking anyway a whole bunch of times. <laughs> Why did I order food? Am I even hungry? Is Pete still alive? I feel bad going live while he's live, but like he was live, well, <clears throat> live for a long time. <sighs> I'm at a turning point in my life where I need to figure out something. I think from a YouTube perspective too, I think that traveling, I mean, I don't have any children. I don't have any commitments. I don't have any ties. I think that traveling is like a good goal for me. It's something very ambitious, but I could start small. I think that it would be interesting content, you know? I mean, don't you guys think so? Wouldn't it be like really, really funny? <sighs> Ah, uh, don't you want to see me get banned from 50 countries? I'm just kidding. If it's anything like Toronto, then no. Why? What was wrong with Toronto? Were my vlogs boring? They would be way better than Toronto. Chantel is an island boy. Please start a TikTok. The Toronto vlogs suck. Why? Okay, fine. I'll go somewhere interesting and vlog. That's what I'm saying. Can make better ones. TikTok. I don't have time for TikTok. <laughs> it's like 15 second videos. I know, but like I don't know how to do all those things where people like use the voices to talk. Like they use sounds. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to learn how to use it. I, I I tried learning the last time, but I was like, it's this is so cringe. You guys just want more cringe. That's why. What country do you think especially loves me? 
You know how David Hasselhoff is in is big in Germany? What do you think I am? I do Fupa twerks. <sighs> Kate is Fupa twerks on TikTok. Let's save this for after Din Din. If you want amazing sativa, lemon Z. Lemon Z. And you two, before you demonetize this, this is legal here. Canada, THC, weed, you know, you have no problem putting a freaking Viagra commercial, but you won't put weed commercial? Give me a fucking break. Having a boner at 85 is not normal, all right? That's not advertiser friendly. Actually, having a boner at 85 probably is normal for some men. No thanks. Imagine being 85 and being asked to take off your diaper and bend over. Like, I'm sorry, but fuck you, man. I'm cutting off at friggin' 55. China. China's too far. Stop the shaming. What shaming? Kimikaze. <laughs> Diaper. Diaper at 80, you know, I'll be like 70, 60 if I make it that long. I'm trying, I'm trying to get there. We are going to get in shape, get in shape <laughs> right after tonight's pierogies. So I ordered pierogies, Greek salad, and butter chicken, <laughs> and ginger ale. It just gets better with age. Have you not heard the song, Older Women Make Beautiful Lovers? Ooh, no, I've never heard that song. Mm, it gets better with age? I love when you eat Greek food, it always looks so good. Yeah, I know the good joints. I know the good places, Sofa King. I can hook you up if you come here. Yeah, Bonita Apple Bum. I want to try harder to lose weight before. So here's what I was saying. If I make this my thing. <sighs> if I make this my thing, my goal, I have to like actually work towards and work hard because I have a lot of shit to figure out in my life right now. What direction I'm going to go. And I feel like this direction is like full of potential career growth and personal growth. Whereas the thought of being in a serious relationship like really freaks me out. So, um, I just don't feel, I just feel like that's maybe what I'm talking about is like something my soul needs, you know? But I feel scared because like really big change is something I don't think that I'm capable of because I just never have really, I don't know, like you know me and I'm sure you guys even think there's no way she's gonna do anything. You guys tell me that all the time. <laughs> Team Jamaica! Just do it. Yeah, Purple Mermaid, scared of the unknown and... Marissa, I was talking to my aunt today about... Oh, I know. Hi, Marissa! <laughs> I always have to say that. I was talking to my aunt about, like, she wants to go back to Jamaica, and she was talking about spending on a house with her and coming up whenever I want to. Like, there will be somewhere for me to, like, vacation for, like, a couple weeks at, or months at a time, depending. And she wants me to, um, that's a thing, imaginary therapist. I have to take, do the, I have to do the actions. So, I'm gonna go see how it is in, like, March for my birthday, maybe for a trip. And then, like, um, yeah, and then she knows somebody who wants to rent her the house for like a few months in May so that we can then look for a place of our own. Yeah, plan right away. But then, alas. I find myself conflicted with wanting to leave people I love behind. Change will be good. You're going on a holiday, not a bloody space expedition. But I feel like by making this decision, I'm making a decision to do something different in my life. No, Abby, it'd be with my aunt. Bring on the 90 day fiance story arc. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not getting married, getting in a relationship or meeting any dudes. I'm just not. I mean, if it happens, like somebody, like I'm being very, very, very fucking picky. Are you sure about that? Yeah, because next time this bitch dates, this bitch is going to have a lot of self-worth 
and self-respect and self-love so you're not over natter no i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you about that like i said i don't have an off switch to just turn off my feelings but regardless of that as an adult trying to mature and try to make i'm trying to make decisions not solely based on my effing emotions for a change and to think of what's best for me um so <clears throat> is he still ranting excuse me dandy do you want a bitch slap <laughs> the world is your oyster wait what does that mean invest your money <clears throat> maybe you get some like little cheap prop like properties are cheap in some countries and then you have like a vacation house and stuff and you can rent it out and i don't know something to do i feel like one if i get healthier it's like i'm gonna be like just born for the first time i'll have like new energy new zest for life a joie de vivre and i don't know youtube is everywhere like i can literally do vlogs from anywhere in the world i want to and it will actually be more interesting than my kitchen, right? I mean, I can make a fool of myself anywhere. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh my God. Maybe I can bring some of you with me and travel with some of you. <laughs> winner, winner gets a trip with Foodie Beauty somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it would be good for my channel. You're coming Lambo, that would be so fun. Sarah Jane, why not? You get impulsive and never go through with anything and people bring it up and you block them. <laughs> Shh. Sorry, guys. Yeah, Sandy and Ange. <laughs> so this is happening like October. Well, that's the thing. It's not necessarily 100% for sure, for sure happening. <sighs> because I have to make... I have to think of the steps. To, I have to think of like really f seriously about it because once I make the decision to do it, that's it. I have to do it. Like, I have my aunt counting on me for that. If I give her the yes. If I say yes, this is going to be... My life is going to be centered mostly around spending time with my aunt and building our relationship and doing things together. She's really fun. She likes to party. She likes to do things. And No, please don't say my name. She never said she didn't want me to go. She wants me to go. Pot is illegal in Jamaica. Yeah, but people still smoke. <laughs> party or party. And anyway, I could go without it for a little while. I think about the bigger picture. <laughs> uh, so, full disclosure, I am in favor of abolishing prisons. Like, I'm... I think prisons are uh, just... Are you sure about that? Absolute bullshit. <sighs> The straw men that people are throwing up here. All for defending the police? Yep. Yep, abolish the police as well. The police cannot be reformed. Get rid of them. And again, that is worldwide. Every Do you agree with Pete that we should release all prisoners? I don't think that's what he said. I think he means... He has problems with the prison system, right? I mean, I have problems with the prison system too, but I don't have the same views as him. Like, I don't believe in, like, it. I don't believe in getting rid of cops and stuff like that. Hold up. I'm going to Jamaica in March. Is that when she's... I am crusty. Taking him out of context. Yeah. He has good points too, but I'm going to be with my aunt's place primarily, like, or our place, but I won't be there as much. Pizza and her, but what about the cat? I'm not gonna be moving to Jamaica, Jamaica like forever. It's not gonna be it's like a vacation thing or second home. I'm going to Jamaica, or maybe not. Maybe I'm. I don't know. I have to think about it. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. And I know it looks like I'm just coming on here, like being petty and like trying to make Nader jealous. And that's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to. Figuring out what the best thing for my life is. Stacy says I think it would be great for you. Well, I just wanted to run, just give some thought. You know, I don't know, you guys. Like, would you guys be excited for vlogs in like another country if that did happen? 
and it kind of sounds like it because that hadn't occurred to me until you said it. <laughs> really, Charlotte? Sometimes? No, I. Well, that's not what I'm doing. God. Um, it would just be like, it's not moving. Like I would have a residence here and share a residence there with my aunt. I'm allowed to go there for up to six months out of the year. So that's what I would do, and she would maintain the place there. I, I wouldn't go for six months because I wouldn't want to leave my cats that long. Like to vacation a certain amount of time out of the year, a few times out of the year or something, and go and do vlogs and stuff like that. You know? Well, it will just be things for me to do, you know? Do you really think that's something you'd do? I'd like to do it. I don't want... Well, I'm glad. I don't want to just, like, stay put. I want to, like, move on with my life, fill it with joy, and fill it with things to do, and just live a fulfilling life for a fucking change. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to, I don't know. Not that my life has, I, I'm not saying I appreciate my life and everything, but it's stale. I've been on a plane a few times. I don't think you're going to go. What do you guys think I'm going to do? You should step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, I'd be stepping out of my comfort zone. Do we, did you get demonetized? What? People can't send super chats? Maybe. Oh, I got super chats today. Purple Mermaid! Ready, set, rebate, Purple Mermaid, seven months! Holy shit, you guys have been with me a long time. Thank you! Is my thing age restricted? You really can't smoke weed on camera or what? It's fucking stupid. Is that not stupid? <clears throat> 